Hey guys, welcome back to another hair washing video. As you can see, I have my youngest daughter here. I will be washing her hair. Um, her hair is definitely in need of a wash. It is very, very dirty. So this is what I'm going to do today. So right now I am just parting her hair with my fingers to try to create some sections. Her, her hair has been in these twists for a month and her hair is very, very dirty. Um, as you can tell, it's like, it's not matting, but it's just, it was just dry, child. So I'm just sectioning out her hair to like four sections. And then I will be adding conditioner to detangle her hair. And the main reason I use conditioner first is because her hair is very dry. So I need a conditioner to definitely help me out when it comes to detangling her hair or else it will be matted and I will have just like a hot mess on my hands. So I would saturate her hair first and then um, I'll be using the Aussie Moist conditioner as you can see there yep this stuff i mean i've been using this stuff for a little while now um her hair loves cheap conditioners i've tried the other stuff like the more expensive conditioners just to try to see if you know her hair would like it her hair is uh it's like eh whatever her ha hair laughs at majority of the things that i put in her hair and I, <laughs> yo i don't even know why dude like i don't get it but I just use with what's working for her hair and at the moment it is Aussie. I ended up using the Garnier Fructis. I mean, not the Garnier Fructis, but I think the High Hello Hydration. And it was actually pretty good on her hair. Like it had her hair sliding, not 100%, but it did help me out quite a bit. So yeah, I'll be buying that again. So as you can see, her hair is like not cooperating with your girl. Like, I don't know. It's just dry, okay? I ended up um, adding more water, of course. But yeah, when her hair gets just dry, it's just hard to kind of maintain. So, but you know, I'm used to it and you know, I have to do what I have to do. And the way I detangle, I kind of have the comb kind of, um, I start at the root first to kind of break the hair apart. And then I end up um, combing the ends. I would usually comb the end first and then go to the root because the ends, they're not, the, it's not the problem. It's the roots. It's harder to manage. It's always, you know, getting knotted and stuff and matted. So I would split the hair into smaller sections just to make life easier for me and for her. So this is a process, guys. Like, it's a whole day production, to be honest with you. I am still looking for something that'll make her hair glide. Like, I don't... Her hair is... I think the strands are extremely thick. So that's why it's harder for maybe conditioners and stuff to, like, penetrate but I mean, her hair is thriving still, but I just want to be able to do different styles for her hair, like cornrows and stuff like that, like how, how I used to do it. But it's just because her hair, like her root takes forever to like split apart. Like when you start cornrows and stuff, you have to, you know, split it in three. Man, her root will not up and, and nobody got time for that, okay? Nobody has time to be doing no small cornrows for her. Um, and when I do cornrows for her, I do end up, um, having to blow out her hair, but that's another struggle too. So, so in the top parts of her hair, as you can see, I'm saturating it. I'll be using the Hello Hydration for the top part of her hair. Yep. There it go. There it is. This stuff was like magic for her hair. I was like, okay. That is cool. As you can see, it's like almost done. And that was because I ended up using it earlier on, like last year. And it really didn't like her hair like that. And that's because we was dealing with the water issues. So I think that's why there was too much junk and gook from the water that was causing, you know, 
it not to work so i think that's the issue but as you can see she's trying to fall asleep but i mean i wish i could fall asleep but of course i can't i cannot so yeah i try to break up the hair as so to see if i can kind of like you know get a hold of it then i twist it out the way then call it a day yo guys i am using a function of beauty okay and this is like i think the curly hair um line and all that gook that you saw was just shampoo it fell inside of the bag and yeah i haven't used this like i bought this like years ago okay i lied i bought this last year 2021 and i didn't use it so i guess it just spilled in the bag so that's what that is so don't don't panic i'm not putting booger in her hair but yeah so i ended up um um using this shampoo because i was supposed to been do a review on this shampoo on well on this beauty line in general this hairline whatever you want to call it but i didn't have the time so i looked up and i saw it i was like oh, i might as well do a review yo i ain't gonna lie though um I regretted my life okay as soon as i put the shampoo on her hair but you're gonna have to wait for my full review at the end of the video but y'all listen <laughs> i don't even know i don't even know but i'm washing her hair um this is kind of the first wash the f the, the first wash was a semi wash so this is like the real wash the real first wash okay it smells really good and the shampoo i mean i'm not really picky with shampoo because usually i like um sulfate shampoos only because we do leave our hair in for like a month or sometime over a month and i do use a lot of butters and oils to style up our hair and stuff and so um using sulfate shampoos really helps get that gook out all the like debris and stuff that is um accum has accumulated over the weeks i guess so i don't mind using like sulfate shampoos but yo <laughs> this shampoo though y'all just gonna have to wait for my review at the end of the video bro so and don't mind her reaction at the end of the video i don't know she's <laughs> This girl here, boy, she's a different breed. And you're going to notice that. I didn't even notice that she was making all types of faces. But just stay tuned for the end of the video. It's quite, it's quite hilarious. So I'm rinsing out her hair. And then um, I will be going in with a second wash. Because, yeah, like I said, her hair was in need of a cleanse. Okay and i i decided to wash her hair in the basin in this like shampoo bowl because i don't know i don't even know i, I regretted my life when i decided that too um usually it's easier for me to do it in the tub just so i can get more access to her hair and um her hair can like lay lay flatter while i like detangle it and stuff it has room to like you know i don't know if i'm making sense but I be wanting to I need room I need room for her hair okay and this basin is not it's big I'm not gonna lie it's big enough but I I, need, I just need more space okay okay so right now I am just sectioning trying to make sure all the shampoo is out all right now I am using the conditioner okay so with this conditioner it comes with three different boosters I'm using the deep conditioner booster and i think i ended up using the thermal protection oh it's right there <laughs> the thermal protection and what else what else the curl definition yes so what you want to do it comes with like two so you want to use one they recommend you use three boosters and three different boosters inside of the conditioner and then you're going to shake for 15 seconds vigorously okay so i am definitely going to show you guys what i am talking about yo i ain't gonna lie it was a struggle opening that bottle but it's all good though i got it open so yeah uh so you pop the cap and then you put the booster in the in the conditioner 
squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yep. That's one down, two more to go. Pop. Pop, squeeze, 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 squeeze. So these boosters, um, it's in the name. It, I guess, gives the conditioner just a bit of boost. <laughs> okay, it's customizable. It's supposed to make the conditioner even more, even better, I guess. But um, you guys are going to have to let me know. and You're going to have to tell me how you guys feel about it. But yo, I didn't. Mm, you, you're just gonna have to wait for the review, bro, because <sighs> I regretted my life that day, okay? I regretted all decision making that day, okay? When it came to her hair washing routine that day, okay? Like, I just wanted to run away. But it's all good. So, as you can see, I am showing love, okay? Because I was just over it. I'm trying anything that'll make this girl hair soft. Okay, just let me know, yo. Like, let me know. Her hair used to be so manageable, but I don't know. Dealing with the well water kind of gave us like a okay, big awesome. setback. So, <laughs> stay tuned, y'all. Zoom in. No, to zoom out. This is zoom out. So, so hair wash day was uh okay. So let's back it up, right? Back it up and stop. What? Your eyelashes are extra long, girl. Yes. But um, okay. So you guys saw I conditioned with the Aussie Moist first, and her hair was. It wasn't gliding, but it was softening. That's the condition I usually use for her um, and have been using for many years now. And, you know, it works. It works for the most part. And then I wanted to try Hello Hydration because there was a lot of... There was a lot of people talking about it. And so I wanted to try that instead. Girl, show off your hair, girl. Show off your hair. <laughs> the bottom... I was using it before and because we was dealing with the well water situation, it wasn't really complementing, okay? Each other, the hair and the conditioner didn't mesh well. So I was like, screw it. Let us just stick to Aussie. So that's what we did. But today I used it and it was like gliding, slip and sliding. So I was like, hmm, okay, okay, I see you. She did experience a lot of shedding. Not that much shedding. I will show you here. It wasn't that much shedding. Excuse me. It wasn't that much shedding. It's going to auto-focus on you <laughs> if you go any closer. Um, today, I wasn't even trying to do a review on the function of beauty. It was something that just popped in my head. I was like, I bought this a long time ago. And... I have bought the 4C, the yellow one, which I guess caters to the 4C sisters. You know, my oldest daughter, she's 4C, so I got her that. Check out that video. I'll leave a card up here, or you can check it out at the end of the video. But I ended up using that on my oldest daughter hair. And this one, I've been meaning to use this one, which is the curly hair. The other one was the kinky hair or tight coil, no, coily hair, hair coily hair. And this one is the curly hair um, line, I guess. <sighs> I used it in her hair, and honestly, guys, I should have just stuck to my um, regular hair wash day for her, especially because it's it's her hair, and her hair be, you know, punching me sometimes. We be fighting sometimes. So I should have just stuck to what her hair loves, okay? She doesn't like new things. But no, I wanted to be a pest. I really wanted to try these um, hair products out. Listen, when I added the shampoo, it set up real nice. 
but it was dry i'm not gonna lie it left her extra extra crispy like papaya chicken yo i was like oh my gosh from then on i knew that it was going to be a bad experience and not to say other shampoos don't make her hair dry they do like the aussie shampoo that i use it's weird because it doesn't make her hair dry but it cleans her hair thoroughly if that makes sense like it does it's not squeaky dry or or it is how to say it like how, i don't even know how to put it like it gets it clean and it feels clean but without the stiffness i guess i, I don't know um try the shampoo out it was an epic um failure so i went in with the conditioner as you can see i added i threw the box away and yeah this bag it was in this Target bag, and one of the, I think the shampoo ended up busting, and yeah, child. But I ended up using, <laughs> don't mind the, the nastiness that's, that's right here, but I ended up using one of these booster shots, that's what they're called. I used the one that was for um, the curl defining one, the thermal protection one, and the the definition something like that <laughs> something like that i don't know directions for the shampoo i mean it's just basic directions for a shampoo but for the conditioner it says excuse me it said um to pour in up to three hashtag care goal booster shots to customize your formulation so you can you can have there's different there's different boosters and you can basically kind of customize your conditioner to your liking but her hair did not like it at all it made it even dry but it says to yeah customize your formulation shake vigorously for 15 seconds early for the best results i could have show off no what? no dirty on shoes but yeah so can we end this video no you can go okay peace <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yeah, uh, so back to me. She wanna interrupt me. Oh, no, she don't wanna stay a little bit with. But yeah, so um when it comes to our hair, I don't even feel like playing with products. Honestly, when it comes to both of their hair or any of my kids' hair, I don't feel like testing products out. I could test it on my hair. Um, but okay, I still haven't found anything that'll literally have her hair glide. I don't do cornrows for her because it just her hair mats up so bad. It's not even funny. Her strands are thick and she has a lot of hair. So, and it's dry. The combination don't mix. So, my bad, y'all. My, my bad, y'all. My camera died. Yeah, I know the struggle. But anyways, so what kind of works for her is um, the Aussie would work. And I would use those cheap, shamp those cheap shampoo and conditioners. And that's what that's what her hair loves, and that's what I'm going to stick with. It could either be the Hello Hydration, the Aussie. I used to use the um, what is it called? Uh, what is Garnier Fructis? I think it's Garnier Fructis. Yeah, the yellow bottle, no, the green one, with the cucumber and stuff in there. Her hair loved that stuff, but I need to introduce that back. Um, just living here with the water it kind of messed up everything so i had to change up a lot of hair products so i have to remember what i did use that worked you know whatever i use my deeper than butter butter <laughs> um i use my um h2 oil in her hair and cantu okay the cantu repair cream and that's what her hair loves that's how she kind of retained her length and got you know all that her and i think it's her genetics too so so i would kind of give this line a a <laughs> no so i hope this you know review was helpful i guess you guys can try i purchased these products um at target so you can go to your local target store this was ten dollars the little boosters were three dollars and it's recommended that you have that you put three of these boosters into their into your um conditioner and then you shake it and then voila but no lie guys 
even for my um, oldest daughter, I don't remember liking it either because I would have used it. But no, I didn't like it. So I'm just going to stick to what I know. Um, and if it so happened that, no, nah, I'll stick to what I know. <laughs> or I'll make my own stuff. But I'm just, just, uh, today's hairstyle wasn't too bad. As you can see, she had her little twist in. And she had matting. Hair is still falling out, but not as excessively. So, so her shedding has not stopped completely yet. So that's okay because it's it's gonna get there. Um, her hair's been up and down. You can't tell because her she has a lot of hair, but it has been on a roller coaster. Okay, when it comes to the health of her hair. So that is it for this video. I hope you like this review. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys.